We are going to be making a mosaic collage today, and I want you to choose a subject matter of something that flies, and you're going to choose a, a contour line drawing um, to start off with. So this is the picture that I'm going to use. This is my inspiration. It's a bird, something that flies. And I started off making a contour line drawing of my bird. Bird. So you want, make, want to make sure that you have all the outside edges of the line, just like we've done in class, and also make note of when there's a color change or a value change. Then you're going to go to your newspaper, which you should have some at home. You could also use magazines or junk mail, and you're going to find different values and colors that you can use um, to tear into tiny pieces for the colors and the values. Remember, value is lightness or darkness of a color. If you look at the front page, you can see that I could find a lot of nice grays or medium values from this picture. There's some blues in this picture. There's some nice whites and some medium values in this picture. So make sure that you go through the entire paper and you'll find all the values that you need. I want you to find at least five ranges of values and just start off by making a pile in front of you. I have two um, of the lighter values here, a medium value, and two darker values. And I've already started to collage into my bird with the different kinds of values. I have the dark for the wings, the medium values um, for the chest of the bird, and then the bright white of the feathers. If you look at my picture, you'll see that it follows the values of the picture. So make frequent reference to your picture when you're, when you're doing this project so that you can copy the bot values. You're going to need a scissors for this and a glue stick. You can also use liquid Elmer's glue, but just make sure that you're really careful with it so it doesn't make the newspaper soggy. I do have a final example of something that flies, my hero, Superman. This is a quite large example, so yours can be a little bit smaller. I recommend maybe half of a sketchbook page, but if you're feeling really ambitious, try a Superman-sized page. So I hope that you're having a wonderful snow day, and I'll see you when we return.